And with the president-elect following his victory and speculation that anti-crypto SEC chief Gary Gensler might soon announce his resignation, which we just talked about with former SEC uh, director Norm Champ, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse is here in a Fox Business exclusive in studio to discuss all of this. Okay, a 70% gain since Election Day. Let me guess, you are a Donald Trump fan, at least, uh, of a presidency as he oversees a, a crypto world that he's very open-armed to. For sure. Uh, like, w what a difference 10 days makes. Uh, we, for years in the United States, have had an attack on the crypto industry. It's been war. And we finally, I think, have uh, a, you know, a crypto president. The crypto industry has embraced Trump. Trump has embraced the crypto industry. He really has. He, he really has. I, I think it's very genuine. And I think he sees the opportunity. He sees innovation. He sees entrepreneurship. And look, the, the, I'm very excited about what the future holds. I'll point out, if you were saying that XRP is up 70 plus percent, since election day, the best performing crypto assets are all US companies or US technologies. This shouldn't be a surprise. The, the, the United States SEC has been manipulating and putting pressure on these U.S. companies, U.S. technologies, and now that pressure comes off and they explode upwards. So we shouldn't be surprised by that. Hmm. So that is since when that it's all U.S.? That really, really since election day. Okay, since, since so, election day, then that, it, that really makes sense. It does. And if you can even put a number on this, like what, what has... Gary Gensler's war on crypto, you can put an amount on it. We went from 2.2 trillion mm -hmm. to basically 3 trillion. So th this was an $800 billion unlock just because we now are going to have rational actors who act lawfully. You know, as, as you know well, states have now even participated in suing the SEC and saying you are not acting lawfully and enforcing the laws. I got to ask you, the price of XRP earlier this week spasmed. It jumped about 10 percent after you liked a tweet earlier that suggested you may have met with President-elect Donald Trump. Any truth to those rumors? I mean, I think like many of your guests today, I'm not going to comment on too many specifics here. Suffice it to okay, say. OK, that's a yes. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. But I, I respect Look, that. But to me, it's a yes. Look, it, we have been active throughout this election cycle in being very pro-crypto, pro-innovation. And how do we make sure that this Congress and, you know, the, the president, obviously, is it's a totally new day. And I, I could not be happier about like a, a Congress that I think is, as Norm said earlier, your guest, we got to get away from regulation through enforcement. That makes no sense. What about this yesterday, this lawsuit filed by 18 attorneys generals, I believe all from Republican states, suing the SEC, saying that they are allegedly overreaching when it comes to crypto regulation. Did you, you know that that was coming at all? We did not. And I say to all 18 of those attorney generals, welcome to the party. You know, look, we have been fighting, Ripple's been fighting this fight since the very beginning. We've spent literally over $150 million fighting the SEC, an unlawful war. And so I'm thrilled they're joined. I wish they would have joined earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, even in their case, that the, what they filed cites the Ripple case over and over. And so they see what has happened. They see how Gensler has overreached. And I only wish there was a way to hold the SEC, hold Gensler, hold yeah. some of these people accountable. And we should say that earlier this week, Rob Robinhood relisted XRP on its platform, driven by what they believe might be this new, more welcoming regulatory environment? For sure. I mean, this goes back to like the, the U.S. has finally unlocking this hostility. And I, I do think things like uh, Robinhood is saying, you know, I'm surprised they didn't do it sooner, but I'm glad they did it now. And, you know, I expect Robinhood, by the way, up 37 percent this month alone. Nice move for Robinhood. And, and he flat as ten of the CEO sat here and said that crypto has been a huge driver for their bottom line. I mean, he said yeah. that it actually is an order of magnitude, a 10 X decrease in cost for in order for him to trade. Brad, thanks for stopping by. It's Great really to see you. see you, Brad Garlinghouse. All right, folks, uh, we're looking at a market in the red today. Maybe it's a little bit of an overbought market. So we've seen some sell-offs and profit-taking on this Friday. 